Hello everyone, welcome back to Mako Products Superlock TV. Today we're going to take a brief look at check valves, what they are, how they work, and uh, it should be a fairly short one, so let's get into it. Alright, let's start with what a check valve does and how it accomplishes it. Um, so basically what a check valve does is it keeps all of your media, gases or liquids, flowing in the same direction. So it just prevents those gases or liquids from backflowing up your system, it's somewhat like a one-way street. You know, you can only move one direction. Um, the way that this is accomplished is by having some kind of a sealed ball or disc, or you know, some would call it a poppet. It seals against the inside of the inlet of the valve. These closures are often spring assisted, but they don't have to be, um, especially some of the larger type of swing valves um, work solely off of gravity and back pressure. So back pressure and actually closes that valve up, preventing any kind of backflow or backwards flow. All right, so let's look at an example of how you might use a check valve. Say for instance, you are working on a system that generates pressure into some kind of a reservoir, be it tank or cylinder. Once that tank is up to pressure, more than likely the compressor would shut off to prevent overpressuring of the system. When that occurs, after some of the pressure in the tank has been used, that compressor is going to need to restart to gain that pressure back. If that is a high amount of pressure already in the system, it's going to be a lot of work for that compressor to actually restart and gain pressure back into that system. Adding a check valve into the system just after the compressor would allow the user to bleed the pressure off before the check valve without having to completely drain the reservoir of pressure that's been built up so that the compressor is not under pressure before adding pressure back to the system. So there are a couple different styles of check valve out there. Um, for larger applications, more commonly the swing type is used. Um, this is the one that uses gravity on a you know, heavy disc that as media pushes it open, um, it rises with the flow, and then as soon as that flow stops, um, gravity pushes that heavy disc down into place and the back pressure actually holds it closed. For smaller applications, for, you know, instrumentation or, you know, smaller plumbing needs, you'd probably have something like this, which is um, a ball type check. So these have just a small ball inside on a spring and as pressure pushes on the ball, it opens up, allowing flow through. Um, those come in a variety of smaller sizes, but once you get up in kind of the, the medium size, you're going to start to see things where they have what's called a poppet, which is a shaped machined disc that is on a spring. And so it'll push out of the way like a ball, but it's got more of a flat sealing surface. The spring, along with the back pressure, allows that to slam closed and keep closed um, for a bubble tight seal. One of the last things we need to consider when choosing a check valve for your application is the cracking pressure. So what cracking pressure is, is the pressure at which this valve is going to open to allow media to flow through. Um, this can range anywhere from a third of a PSI all the way up to 600 PSI, just depending on the valve that's chosen and the spring that's inside of it. Um, some check valves are even adjustable. You know, you can you can tighten that spring a little bit to add pressure to your cracking pressure. It is important to mention that cracking pressure is not the only thing you obviously have to overcome because back pressure is still used to close these valves. Say you're working on a system that is already containing 2,000 psi. You want to add more pressure to the system. Your check valve has a, you know, 12 pound spring in it. As you add pressure, you're actually going to have to overcome 2,012 pounds before any media will actually begin to flow through that valve. Because once you hit 2,000 PSI, you've actually only reached an equilibrium point. There is a 12 pound spring still holding the valve closed. One more thing to consider with cracking pressure is actually gravity. If you have a check valve at the bottom of a 20 foot piece of tubing, the media in the line will actually either add or reduce pressure from your cracking pressure depending on how much it weighs and whether the check valve is headed in an upward or downward direction. 
All right, and I think that is going to about do it for check valves. If you guys are still with me, I appreciate you for sticking around to the end of the video. Um, certainly let us know down in the comments if there's a topic or something else you'd like to see covered. Subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and hit the little bell icon also. That'll actually let you know when we have a new video out. And of course, as always, you can check us out on superlockworld.com. There you'll find all kinds of information about our product, like other types of valves and fittings that we carry. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.